push them. Then they get the order that they can start fucking niggas up. They start fucking some niggas up. Exactly. You know, but that they ain't normally they ain't normally gonna let you just do that. Yeah, of course. Take that's over a precinct. Yeah, that's Come on. Yeah, yeah. Burn down a precinct. Yeah, military oh. tank. Right, niggas with a military tank. <laughs> and I think that was Atlanta, I think. Yeah, right? Yeah. And then now in Atlanta you got niggas walking the streets because of the cops, they uh, what they did, they stood down or they they yeah, resigned. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, resign, yeah. they all, because they can't choke nobody. They can't choke nobody, so they all resign. So there's not really that many police force down there in, in yeah. Atlanta. So you got motherfuckers walking the streets with, with the AKs and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wilding out, shooting at each other. Yeah, Come basically. on, man. Yeah, yeah. You're doing just what they want. So now they're going to say, look, we got to send in the National Guards, man. <laughs> and there ain't going to be nothing nice when it gets to that point, man. It's going to be second up to the 16th chapter. <laughs> OK, verse 2. Yep. It says, the tongue, the tongue of, of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. Yeah, so, hey, so you gotta know how to be wise when you uh, against your adversaries, the police, man, you gotta you know, speak wisdom, right? Um, but that's but that's why, you know, these Jakes get shot down by the police and beat up by the cops and shit like that because they're foolish, man. They, they, they always talking foolish shit, all right? Right uh, this is Matthews 5 and 25. It says, Agree with thine adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him. Again, that's just more wisdom, man. That's just more wisdom. And this is what you're supposed to teach your yeah, children. Sure. You're supposed to teach your sons and, and your daughters. But your daughter shouldn't be out roaming the streets anyway. She has to have her monkey ass in the house. And your sons teach them the right way. All right? Look, you come across a cop or whatever, don't sit there and talk no shit to them. Listen, be cool. All right? Be cool, because they will kill you. Yeah. All right? They got that power right now. Be cool. If you, you know, you deal with it later. You understand? Don't deal with no emotions. It said agree with thine adversary swiftly. If you get pulled over, you know, you ain't got to say, why the fuck you pulled me over? Yeah, I ain't right. do shit. I know yeah. my fucking rights. Then that's going to... Now you're being aggressive, exactly. and then if this, depending on what kind of pig that and pulled you over, you're gonna say, try to say you're resisting arrest, then you're gonna pause, gonna get, get out the car, get your hands up, move your hands, pop, 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 Course, maybe other nations that feel bad for the atrocities and the slick enslavement that we went through and still go through. There's nobody really sitting on an official seat talking about us. You got a bunch of pacifist niggas, yeah. a bunch of self proclaimed activists, yeah, right? Yeah, like, like, um, like you got Haiti up there, right? You know what I'm saying? But they're right. not for the interests of the whole nation of Israel, right? And it's in like the elder said. No. They're a bunch of sellouts, man. Sellouts, bro. You know? They're brought and paid no. for by the elites, you know? That's right. Yeah, because Haiti is still all fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Haiti's for Puerto Rico is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. You know? Actually, they, they're going to probably end up changing Haiti into the whole the, the Dominican Republic in a minute. They even talking about Sibia, but Sibia is going. Yeah, they took, yeah. but they. They take it, they taking advantage of them Haitians too down here. Yeah, yeah, huh. You got other Simeonites now speaking out against that shit. Oh, man. they are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and that's true because see, here it is out there on the same, and that's how we know that they Levi and Simeon. Right. Right? right. That, 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 they, that fit the prophecy. But they're on the same island, they brothers of the same nation, but they fucking hate each other. In certain places they, they said Haitians can't even go in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, but that's because, when, I mean, it's the curses. The Lord said that that was going to happen, that the Most High was going to destroy the brotherhood that we had amongst each other. So that's why you got the, the, the separations and the gangs. But now, at the last days, the Lord said what? He was going to close up the, the breaches, the gaps. So now he's bringing back, you know what I'm saying? He's assembling a, a, the whole 12 tribes. Because why? The, the, you got 12,000 from each tribe that's going to be delivered in these last days. So that's why in the camps you'll see. Judites, Benjamites, uh, uh, Levites, Simeonites, Ephraimites, Issacharites, Reubenites, Cadites, you know what I'm saying, Zebulonites. You see all the different, you know, Asherites, all the brothers, because that's the Lord, that's being in, being in those times. Even, yep. even nowadays, though, with all the protests going on, 
you got the tribes coming together. Yeah. Right. Just last week, you had Dominicans and Haitians in this park. And they was um, protesting for Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You got Ishikar and Judah getting together. Yeah, yeah that's right. Black Lives Matter. Yep, yep, that's right. The ones that got some sense amongst them. Right. We know. I'm oh, sorry, you got to think. If, if you if you are, okay, all right, <laughs> later on. <laughs> okay. Later on. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta think. Shit, I'm just coming real with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't say that. I love, I love the Dominican women too. They can get it too. They, they part of the nation. <laughs> but you gotta think about it. If, if, if you one of the other tribes, if you seeing them doing this shit to Judah, you gotta know it's only a matter of time until they start doing this shit to, to right, right, Asians, right. Dominicans, Mexican, so-called Mexicans. You know, you gotta know it's only a matter of time. Puerto Ricans. So you, you gotta sit there. And you gotta really, you gotta really think about it, man. All right. So you know, but that's the spirit of the Lord too. Like you said, but the Lord said He's gonna bring us back together, right. and that's the powerful thing because the so-called white man, he loved, you know, divide and conquer. We all know about that, right? Yeah. That's what the devil does. He divide and conquer. He treats the, the light-skinned Negro better than the dark-skinned yeah, Negro, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? He treats the, the Latino tribes better than the the, the Negro tribes. Yeah, the Native yeah. American Indians he does shit all over us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in a goddamn tank and give him some whiskey, you know. But that, that, that's what he do, he, and he keeps us all separated because he know that he keep us separated, keep us going off, not following the right way. He can he, he can continue to rule over us. Right? Yeah. Hey, Amos, chapter nine, verse nine. Okay. Yeah. For lo, I will command and I will set the house of Israel. Right, the real house of Israel, man. Not these crack, these so-called white people. That's trying, they, they took everything, man. All right, so it shouldn't be hard to believe that they actually took our identity. They're the biggest thieves on the planet, actually. Technically, you got people looking up to Bill Snakes and all these other the, the, the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. They're a bunch of, bunch of fucking parasites, man. They're the top parasite on the fucking earth, man. They stole and sucked everything from us, man. That's how they became. They didn't do no hard work. They didn't go to no school that gave them over the world, they came through what? Thievery, rape, rob, and murder, like the Lord said. John 10 and 10, that's how they came. Yep. And among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sea. Right, so that's what the Lord did. He sifted the house of Israel, man. All right, amongst all nations. And guess what? You got Israelites all throughout the four corners of the earth. I don't know if y'all seen, which we, you know, we know a lot of the Philippines, majority of them are Jakes anyway. Uh -huh. But there's this comedian called Joe Coy, I think is his name. Yeah. You, uh, you, you seen him? Yeah. Hey, you know, see, man, they got the, the B-boy, they over there doing the old school break dancing and stuff. Yeah. Dude's getting nice. Dude did one move, I thought, okay. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's some shit only Jake can do, man. You know? And then even in Japan, you got a group of Japanese that, that's heavy into the break dancing and pop locking and all that and other shit and, and all the, uh, the, 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 the chain clan rapping and all that. Yeah. A lot of them is fucking niggas, man. And that Spike Lee movie, The um, Five Bloods, he showed you, which I like that point he did. You know, Spike gonna give, he gonna put a little something Some out. Jewels. But he ain't, he, but he be bullshitting the overall. Yeah. He need to come out straight up with everything, man. Exactly. He, he need to just let, let us do the shit, man. You know? <laughs> just let us do the shit. Just get the, pull the strings and let us just do it. You want a real, real movie. But he put it, he brought up the point, though, in Vietnam, the, the war baby, yeah, you know, he brought he brought that out. So that was that was cool because that that's a that's a real that's a real actual uh, uh, situation. That's something that really you know what I'm saying that really happened. You know, and you got a lot of so-called war babies that are over there to this day. You know that you know just growing up, grew up fucked up. So that's the hood said that he's gonna bring us amongst all the other nations, but right? Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right, but not the least rain is gonna fall upon the earth because why? The most side is gonna deliver you know, Israel wherever we were scattered. Because just because he's amongst the other nations, maybe he looks like the other nations or they act like the other nations, as far as the culture that they grew up in, they still an Israelite. Right, right, see? Right. And that's why we can't be coming on this fucking black yeah. black shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most I ain't never you can't show me in the scriptures where the Lord said black lives matter. Right, right. Be proud to be a black man. Right. Black power. Where is that in the scriptures? It ain't in the scriptures, man. But the Most High ain't dealing with that. He's dealing with the nation of Israel. You'll see Israel all up in the scriptures, man. All right? And that's what we're supposed to be uh, uplifting, man. The Lord's people, man. All right? Go ahead. Verse 11. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. 
right, the tabernacle of David, which had fallen. And when you look at David's mighty men, they were Israelites that was from different parts of, amongst other nations, man. All right, you always had our people dwelling amongst other nations. You always mingled. We had uh, plenty of uh, diasporas, as they say, dispersions, man. When you go into our his history, going yeah, yeah, back to the time no of Moses, the Lord, yeah, yeah. the Lord said that if we didn't obey him, they're going to scatter us well, the same over the earth. And that's what it is today. Okay, that's why the Lord, Yahweh Shai said, he's going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth where they've been scattered. You see? So this is this is the truth, man. This 12 tribe sign contrary to popular belief, this is this is the truth, man. All right? The Mosai, Yahweh Shai, is dealing with this sign. This is, this is scripture, man. And close up the breaches thereof. Yep. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old. See, as the days of old. And, and in, in the ancient times, we all we was uh we was together in unity in the ancient times, man. You know, it wasn't no, you know, oh man, I ain't fucking with you. You were for them. Oh, you were, you you were uh, uh Haitian. We ain't fucking with you. Oh, you you are Puerto Puerto Rican. Nah. Back in the days, we had love for each other, man. Ephraim, Judah, Benjamin, Gad. You understand? So the Lord is bringing it, bringing that that spirit back, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yep. Yep. Come on in. This is our Surat, chapter thirty-six. Hey, is that still recorded? Uh, yeah. You see, no, oh, okay. yeah. This is our Surat, chapter thirty-six, verse uh, eleven. Gather all the tribes of uh, of Jacob together and inherit down them as from the beginning. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you gotta bring that back. This is uh, Surah 36 and 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob gather together. All, gather all the tribes, man. That's what we just were speaking about. The brother brought up the, uh, the, the, the tabernacles of David scripture, man. The Amos, the ninth chapter. The Lord said, gather all the tribes, man. Not just, not just Judah, not just uh, Benjamin, Levi, but also as well Ephraim, uh, 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 Reuben, Simeon, Manasseh, you know, the, the, the northern kingdom, man. And then you got the, the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the other nations. You see, so the Lord said, that's who the Lord told to this word is for them. You can't limit, and that's what going back in the in Acts, that was the big the big debate back then. They were trying to just limit the truth just for the for, for the southern king, for Judah. The Jews, them, them of the circumcision, the ones that were still keeping the laws, the, the, the fear of the seas back then. They were just trying to keep, just like, basically they were trying to keep it like a, a, a black thing. Right, you know, yeah, yeah. just for, for lack of uh, better words. Right, right. And then that's why the Apostle Paul said, no, no, look, it ain't just for you. The Mosai's still dealing with them because why? They, they were Israelite, even though that they fucked up and they out, they, they bugging out into these Greek customs and they being Hellenist, the Mosai is able to grab them back in. And they wasn't talking about no fucking white boys, man. And that's a stumbling block to you idiots out there. It says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together uh -huh. and inherit thou them as from the beginning. O Lord, have mercy upon the people. And that's what the Lord's doing with this word. This word is gathering all the tribes together, man. Now you got the tribes that are coming back together, standing strong, you know? And this is a beautiful thing, right? Remember it says, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Upon who? Israel. Who Israel, not the whole world. So why y'all get mad at us when we say, that the Lord is only dealing with Israel. Right. Really, you should say Israelite lives matter, man. Right, right. That's it. Nobody else. Not all lives. Because when you say all lives matter, that's against the Bible. That's against the Heavenly Father, the Creator. All right? He said the nations are dropping a bucket to them. They're less than spit to them. That's what the Lord said, man. Right? The Lord said that. So really, all Israelite lives matter, man. And, and you should, and you got niggas, man, show you how deep that Uncle Tomism is inside of niggas, or that, that corner, cornery is in them, or that just slave, you know, that's all they can see is just being a slave. They get mad at us, you should be happy for us. We're talking about the real true movement, man. We're talking about a true empowerment of our people, man, but under the true, correct identity, man. Because it starts with truth, man. If you don't build a foundation on truth, then it's falsehood, man, all right? And the truth is the Lord's sanctified them thy word, thy word is true. So that's why we gotta go according to what the Lord said. Him. Not what I, fuck what I think, fuck our opinion or whatever. The most I already laid it down. He already laid the blueprint how we gonna get, get up out of here. 
All right? He said, just, he said, look, only acknowledge your offenses and return to me. Right. The Lord already laid it down. You know, Jake looking for answers. The answers is right there, but they don't want the answers, man. Like the saying goes, you know, tell me the truth. You can't handle the truth. You don't want the truth, man. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. We want to tell you something right now. The most I killed George Floyd. Woo! You say that around certain people, they want to kill you, man. The Heavenly Father killed George Floyd. And Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant. All right? Now, you say that in certain areas, they'd be ready to chase you. Because why? You don't have no understanding. Now, when you read it, real quick, since I said that, I'm going to back it up. I got to see whether you believe it or not. And see, the thing is, we're not about candy coating shit, man. All right? Yeah, he was great. He's an Israelite. And he'll be back in the kingdom of heaven. He'll be back in his right mind. He'll be back. He ain't going to be shaving his beard off. Coming in for the so-called white man bouncing a basketball. He's going to be using the white man's head as a basketball. Yeah, man. yeah right. Yeah, All right, right, when George Floyd, Floyd come back in the kingdom, yeah. he's going to put his knee on, yeah. on that devil's neck. Right. Just He's going to make him die, bring him back to life, put his knee on his neck again. Yeah. Make, uh, make my kids, put his knee on his kid's neck. Yeah, that's right. All right, that's put right. his knee on his, his, his mother's neck. And kill him, choke him out for fun. You see what I'm saying? And that's in the scriptures. That's hey, the Lord's gonna give us payback. But the most high is the one that controls all that. Got it? Uh, this is Job 4 and 7. It says, Remember I pray thee, okay, whoever perished being innocent. Right, when the Lord said whoever perished being innocent. Now somebody give me one of the Psalms. Okay, you broke okay, you got the head chop. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and make of a law. You hear that? That's what the scriptures say, man. So when I say that. God, the Lord killed George Floyd. I'm telling you what the scriptures say, man, what the Bible says. All right, anytime anybody dies, it goes back to the most high. Read that again one more time. First Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. Meaning the Heavenly Father put the spirit on that devil to go sit there and fuck with him with George Floyd. That was his time. His time was up. All right, and for him to go out in that brutal manner and to set off you know, which Esau, they're not going to let no uh, uh, prices go to waste. Yeah, so yeah, they're going to yeah. use that to, to fan the fire for, for what? The shutdown, right? And, and, and also to fan the fire for the chip, right? It's, it's all going to lead to the chip with this whole COVID-19. It's all going to lead to the chip. But now I just wanted to bring out the point. It said the Lord kill it. Anybody got Psalm 68? Okay, bring that out real quick. This is Psalms chapter 68. Verse 20, uh -huh. he that is our power is the God of salvation. Right, he that is our power is the God of salvation. Now, they, they'll read right through this in church. It's a psalm. And again, we didn't make this up. Right, it said, he that is our power is the God of salvation. Okay, because the Lord is going to bring salvation to our people, to the elect. Remember, we were speaking about the elect. All right, the Lord is going to bring salvation, right? Go ahead. And it says, and unto Yahweh the Lord belong the issues from death. See? And to the what? To the Most High, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. belongs what? The issues from death. The issues from death. So if anybody get taken out, the Most High put the issue out. He put the order out. Mm -hmm. Nobody can't kill nobody, even Esau. If that was the case, they would have killed us a long time ago. Yeah, that's right. All right, but we, what we're doing is high treason, yeah, man. Right. We're sitting up here telling you that America's about to be destroyed, oh, man. All these buildings, all, all these, the, the, uh, everything of this... Of this life here in America is going to be destroyed, man. All right, the Lord is coming back to rock America to sleep with yeah. nuclear destruction. We're telling you that a, a so-called black man, so-called, who uh, you even call Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahweh Shah, he's coming back with the angels and the chariots to help liquidate America, man. All right, and deliver his, his servants. Okay. So we tell you high level treatment. They the big kill us if they kill us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like the fact we tell them that they're going into slavery. And we proving it out of the Bible. The good book. The good book speaks about the A-back. Alright? And, and, and George Floyd is not he's one of the few. I mean one of many part of it. One of many so-called Negroes that was slain. Overall, the Mosai gave the issues of death. Because he said he said he's gonna correct us, he ain't gonna leave us altogether unpunished. The Most High, he, he was angry because we broke his commandments. So the Most High did, did uh, put that spirit on the white man to raise it. And it ain't over. It's going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse. But overall, we're going to be all right because we're the real Israelites, man. And the Lord is going to have mercy on all people, man. The ones that wake up. 
All right, the ones that died, they'll come back. You know, they got, to, they had to die. But they'll come back. They'll be in their right mind. No, and they, they gonna get paid back. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Job 4 and 7 says, Remember I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Right. Because the most high is faithful, man. If you're if you're faithful to the Lord, if you righteous with the most high, he's never gonna leave you forsaken. And if you take Job, you remember Job, Job was, was he, he never turned his back on the most high. And he, and he had and he never did no no evil neither. But because of a bet that Satan had with the most high and the Lord like to do things to show his power, you know, that's what the Lord's doing, like even in us. Yeah, we're a small little group with the most high that's showing his power in us, man. When they look at us, they think, oh man, y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Nah, on the contrary, this word that the Lord had us speaking it shook up the whole world. Why you think there's so much uh censorship? The YouTube, they sit there and re, re, uh, vamped it, made it harder to upload videos. They're pulling their hair out because this, this is how you affect these devils, man. With the truth, man. You hit them with the truth, and that's what's going to really fuck them up, man. All that sitting there just yelling and yelling, no justice, no peace, that ain't doing nothing, man. Because first of all, you don't even know what justice is, man. All right? And, and, and you're going about it the wrong way. You're going to, to the devil asking them for justice. Same one that's killing you, same one that's giving you diseases, same one that, that raped, robbed, and murdered your, your uh, family, your, your wives, your grandmothers, your mothers. You going to him, ask him to be just. It, it's, it's nonsense, man. You're supposed to go to the Heavenly Father seeking, seeking vengeance, man. All right, but go ahead. That was it. Uh, Psalms 148 and now 14. I'm sorry, 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Right. And that's a key thing, too. Let them praise the name of the Lord. You got to know the name of the Lord. We're in a time where the name of the Lord is important, man. You can't just sit there and say, oh, I call him God. Oh, I call him Jesus. I can call him whatever I want to call him. No, you got to know the name. You see, and we come to a point in time where all of this, before we'll sit up there, like I said, we spoon feed the truth to the people back there. You go a lot of your way to break things down. You might think that they're sincere, and they turn out not to be sincere. They turn out to be a goddamn demon. You just sat there three hours trying to break a, a scripture down to them, and then they just straight up Satan, right? Y'all been through that. Now we coming to the point now where we ain't gonna be sitting there waiting for the scripture to say, he that is unjust, let him remain unjust still. So if you can't get it, we ain't gonna sit there and waste hours fucking with you, man. Right? You better, you better catch on. You gotta sit there and prove to you why the name is important. Then that means that this might not be for you, man. And we're not trying to sit there and, and get a following and bring people in. Nah. We're just teaching the word. We, the people that's gonna come into this thing is those who is meant for, the elect. All right, go ahead. It says, Psalms 148, 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. Right, he also exalted the horn, meaning the power. The most high, and he's gonna show his power through us, man. Even though they think we're weak and significant, right? But he's gonna, the most high likes it like that, man. That's why he, he don't make a big group or whatever. The most high, said, yeah, the most high don't deal with the masses, man. But he likes to show his power in a small number. He said, I would be to you a small sanctuary in a country's plural whether you were scattered, that's in the scriptures, man. Because why? The most side keeps it small, so that way he can confound that which is wise and mighty. You see? See, the most side don't think the way the average person thinks. Like the Lord said, he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. You can't fathom the way the most side do things, man. Here you thinking that we are, oh, them niggas is bogus, they lame. Them niggas is blasphemous, they talking shit. Them niggas don't, don't they, they hate black people, them niggas the worst niggas, man. You don't realize that we the men of the most high. You see? And the Lord said that he was set up, to, set up as an outscarring, right? Reproach. Reproach. We were set up to be shamed by y'all and spoken of evil, man. And at the end of the day, we're going to keep doing what we're doing because the most high's word is going to come back. Oh, okay. Yep. It says, it says, he 
he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all the praise of all his saints. Right, the praise of all his saints. And who are the saints? The saints is, is what? I told you about that. Israel. The Israelites are the real saints, man. You got these crackers talking about singing when the saints go marching in. Oh, how I like to be in that number. Get the fuck out of here, man. You, you in the number of the devils, man. You in the number of Satan's children, man. All right, you fucking Edomites, man. Ain't no saint, ain't nothing saint about you. Anybody, not everybody can be a saint. You know? You got a lot of people think, you know, my grandmother, she was a nice lady. She ain't never hurt nobody. She was a saint. No, she wasn't. She was a, a, a fucking Edomite bitch that happened to be a nice person, I guess. <laughs> Damn devil, nonetheless, you ain't no saint. If you ain't coming from one of these tribes, you ain't no saint, man. The saints are all Israelites. No, meaning those are the chosen people that the Lord chose to itself. Go ahead. It says, all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. See? Even the children of Israel are people near unto him. Go ahead. Praise ye the Lord. Right. And you got to know his name to really praise him. That's it. Okay, yep, yep. Psalms 50 and 5. Right, be quick, be long too. <laughs> okay. Psalms chapter 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Right, you see, and that's what we're doing. The Lord said, gather my saints together unto me. So the saints are the other Israelites, man. The Most High said, gather them unto me. That's why we got the sign here. That's why we out here on the, the, the corners, the highways, and byways. Brothers do shows, because right now, in this day and age, the, the internet, we're living in the, the internet age, right? The age of information age, whatever. So we constantly do shows and videos, we record these shows, we upload them. You see, because why? We put the word out there, and then whoever's part of the elect, the saints, they're going to come in. So the Lord said, gather my saints together unto me. Now let's break down who these saints is, man. Go ahead. Gather my saints together unto me, mm -hmm. those that have made a covenant with me, my sacrifice. See? Who are the saints? He said, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who are the law of sacrifice given to, man? That was only given to the nation of Israel, you see? So everybody can't be a saint. You got to be an Israelite, yep. This is Leviticus 26 and 46. Uh -huh. right. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between you him. See this? These statutes, laws, and commandments, man, the judgments. The Most High gave that to Israel, go ahead. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel and Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Okay, yeah. All right. Now this is to prove who the saints are because the word saint means a uh, 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 holy sanctified. So it's uh, Ezekiel 37 and 28. And the heathen shall know that I the Lord do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. So that's going to be in the kingdom, man. That's when it's really going to be established who the true saints are. You know, because uh, people don't really see the, them Jewish people as saints, man. You know, they, they, they're not uh, are showing forth the praise of the Most High. You know, you got, you got gay boys over there in Israel, man. You know, those, those heathens, they're not clean, man. You know, the Most High cleanses uh, his elect, man. You know, they don't even believe in Yahweh Shah because that's what cleanses the nation of Israel, man, the blood of Yahweh Shah. So yeah. they don't believe on him, so how can they be saints? You know? Yep, that's right. Right. Did, did Daniel's 12, you got something? Did Daniel's uh, 12. Uh, Matthew 25 and 31. Mm -hmm. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then right, shall... that's speaking about the Lord, man. And see, and that's heavy. The scriptures keep bringing that out because we're getting close to the time of the return of the king, man. That's right. All right, Yahweh Shah, the king of kings, man. All right, he's the only one that's wearing that title, man. You got niggas that, you know, DOC try to name his album, Lord of Lord and King of, Kings of Kings. Right. See what the Most High did to him. Yeah. The nigga ain't had his voice ever since, man. He's still trying to find his voice, man. Right. Yeah. Damien, 30 years later. And he would have been Jay-Z, basically. He was he was that, you know, to those, if y'all brothers would have been, some of these brothers that been around, you remember, he was, he was the next one. I mean, if you listen to his first album, that shit is a classic. The most side, everybody just knew it. They're like, oh, you got next. You're going to be the next one coming out that West Coast and WA camp, right? Which I think he was from Texas or whatever. And the most side had him get into a fucking uh, uh, car accident. And that shit was crazy to me. It took, he ain't, he was recovered, but it took his voice. See? So that's the, the most, that's why we tell you how terrible the most side is. 
better fear the Most High. Because a lot of times Jake speak proud, and the Most High, you know, will hold you accountable to that, man. You know, he, he put he, he titled his album, you know, I think it was uh, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. That title goes to Yahweh Shai. Right, yeah. All right, Dio C ain't gonna have no cross and be, be sacrificed for the nation so that we'll have life and be back here alive today to this day. He didn't sacrifice himself to the Most High without sin, right? right? So the Lord, hey, the Most High got angry at that, man. The Most High fucking threw him into a car accident, man. See? And, and, and hey, you know, maybe maybe the spirit, he might know too. He might have knew that he went too far with it. You know, the Most High ain't kill him either. Most High made him live through it. I mean, he reinvented his whatever he had to do, but he ain't had that voice no more. Right. He had to go to, like I said, he would have been the top. Wait, Way better, Big, Biggie, Jay, none of them wouldn't have been able to match him, man. He was that good with it, but he was proud, that pride, man. And the most side, like the scriptures say, blessed is the man who the Lord imputed not iniquity. Because we all commit sins and everything, but the most side said he has mercy on who we have mercy. And the Lord said, blessed is the man who the Lord imputed not iniquity. Imputed means to, to lay to your charge. Like in other words, the most side ain't gonna hold you accountable for fucking, for doing something like that. See, he, he wasn't right, so the Lord held him accountable. Yep. Uh, Psalm 68, 66 and 5. Uh -huh. Come and see the works of Yahweh. He is terrible in his doing yeah. toward the children of men. Yeah, the Most High is terrible, man. The Most High is terrible. The Most High have niggas starved to death. The Most High have niggas being burnt to death. You see? Um, through slavery, the, the different way Esau was uh, killing us. And really, we, we have fucked up. That was our punishment. You know, that was our punishment. Being gator baits, being Esau stripping the skin off of niggas, filleting filleting niggas. All right, it's a big ordeal. So that's why there's no room for no pride, man. I, like niggas sit there and talk shit about the Bible, talk shit about us. I'm like, what the hell you think is gonna happen to you? Yep, you got it. So Matthew 12, 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the, there, thereof in the day of judgment. He says, for by the words thou, thou shalt be justified by thy tongue. But I say, I read it again, Matthew 12 36, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account there, thereof in the day of judgment. Like the hell was going into, man. Or yet that rap for that give yourself that title, all right? So I'll keep up being proud, man. All right, without it, the verse they say and the actions they take, man. Yeah. Okay, like say the mark of the beast. It's not the all funny Merkel shit. All right, that's being proud. Right, same, same. The Lord's name is not Yahweh Shai's, uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ blessed. That's being proud, man. Okay, so we all, even, even us, man, we only men. Okay, we gotta pray that we follow for forgiveness. We gotta watch the things we, we all know what the things we say. Because judgment becomes swift.